<gasps> yes! <laughs> In the year 2022, a young man named Angel binged a show called House of the Dragon over the course of a week. Later, he joined his friends for the finale in a pub of no particular note or importance. But it was only revealed afterwards that the young man had never seen nor been spoiled of the original series Game of Thrones. Now, watch and relive the series from Angel's truly unique perspective as the Watchers in the Bar present. Hey, hey, what's up everybody? It is me, Sean Tanktop. And I'm over here at Casa de Tanktop hanging out with my very good friends. It's Jenny Lee. It's Angel. What's going on, guys? Also, I mean, like, you know, because we usually have Angel, but we also have Jenny Lee. Good to have you back. Right lucky here. to have Jenny lucky, Lee. Lucky, very lucky. It was so good we had to have we had to have her back. Um, what's going on, guys? We are over here. We are doing reactions to Game of Thrones, season four, episode one. We got there. We got to season four. Just barely. <laughs> <laughs> by the, in my by the skin of our teeth. I mean, we have literally just had the red wedding, and that was like emotionally traumatizing. That was one of the hardest ones. Yeah. I mean, and I think it's one of the hardest ones for everybody. You know, like I, I literally cradled like <laughs> Angel like this. And you're like, you're, you, I think what did you say? You you were like, not Rob with two B's. <laughs> <laughs> Which is like exactly what it was. I mean, a cataclysmic reshaping of the conflict has happened. Like, what the fuck are you keeping your eye on, babe? Um, little recap, because sure. this is, I've been focused on Rob. I've had people come up to me and been like, oh, so you saw the red writing? Like Sean told me and they're like, I'm sorry for your loss. <laughs> <laughs> I have been telling everybody about it. It was so, and also I'm sure like I, in my reaction to just because I knew it was coming, but the dread really started to sit, seep in a lot earlier than it did for you so i'm sitting there and i'm like i think i rub my my, my <laughs> you're, you're, you know what's i was coming just doing this like the whole it. time yeah it was really rough it was, it was really everything's rough. going so well for him you know he's got beautiful little baby charlie chaplin lady yeah. and they're all like doing <laughs> yeah. so well it's like i came across uh recently on instagram uh this girl that's reading harry potter for the first time oh yeah i've seen her i've seen yeah, her yeah and she just finished the prisoner of azkaban and she's like harry's gonna go live with sirius and like oh no i don't know hound the hound is is hanging with Arya. My my new eye candy, by the way. Um. <laughs> Dude, R Rory McCann is a smash. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. He's a you smash know? like you read about. Yeah, I mean, like, oh, I mean, no, I mean, like, it is. It, Gina. And then, like, and the like their relationship and just the visual of them riding together mm. is so amazing and iconic it's and precious you know and yeah. so i, I mean, love like a, a father figure who doesn't want to be there or has like disdain towards like the child mm -hmm. we like it we like a grumpy daddy figure yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're, you're, you're a big you're you're a big last of us fan so yeah you fucking, so you know how that all goes <laughs> Marjorie has still yet to marry Joffrey because he's not gonna do he's not gonna go like he's gonna be the final act like he's not gonna get married and then Tyrion gets married and that's yeah. the last thing that's in the papers and shit you know what I mean I'm I'm not too worried about her she's got her she got a good head on her shoulders she so, knows what she's doing like especially seeing her and Sansa sort of like contradicting each other you know like just opposing each other you're like Sansa Get it together, like yeah. this is the one. Like, like this is how you do the thing. Yeah. you know what I mean. I'm kind of ready to just jump into this thing. Get That's too late. Hell ready. yeah! All right, well, we appreciate you guys very much for hanging out with us as we go through season four of Game of Thrones. We're on episode one right now. If you guys want to get early, early on, cut access to episode two right this very minute. If you're watching this on YT, you guys can do that by becoming a part of the Patreon. The link it's just down there. It's right over there. It, like the, the link's in the top end comment or the description below. You click that, you head on over. You pony up eight bucks at the premium streaming tier, and that gets you full and uncut access to all of our Game of Thrones coverage, including episode two right now. Um, Wait here. <coughs> <laughs> You're great. <laughs> He's choking! Oh, the poor boy! <laughs> Idiots, help your king! Wait! 
We hope you guys consider doing that, but if you can't do that and still want to help us out, you can hit us with a like and a subscribe. Ring the bell thingy because that shit always helps. It never fucking hurts. We appreciate you guys for hanging out with us. Oh, this is... What a visual to come back on. Dead wolf. So... This is Ned's sword. Also, now you get, like, the Reigns of Castamere playing, and it's just, like, it's so haunting, because that's what they were playing at the Red Wedding and shit. It's just like, oh, God. Oh, yeah, that is, um, I think his name is Tommy Dunn. That is the Master of Arms of the show. He's made every single weapon that you've seen in this, in this show. We're going to talk about Grumpy Yeah, the guy is literally, the guy's literally hitting it and literally doing it. Yeah. That, that's cool that they got, like, the actual blacksmith. Yeah, totally. It's also like they'd have a hard time getting an actor right. to like pretend they know how to do right. this shit. They melted down his sword. I'm yeah. so tired of this family. <laughs> <laughs> Look how fucking Lannister's fucking over it. They're and so of course extra. it's Tywin fucking doing it, you know. Mm. <sighs> <laughs> Isn't he just delicious though? No, 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 it's oh. so good. I mean it's so it's so sick and, and and he's so magnificent in the role and you just love to almost more than Joffrey at this point, you love to you love to hate him. Yeah. Oh, you know? Well, Joffrey you just he's just an idiot. Like he sucks so bad and yeah. he's stupid and you just fucking hate him. Yeah. But Tywin is like, oh, he's so evil. Yeah. Like, he's just so, <laughs> so bad. Yeah. Like, There's the a ultimate. level of respect I have for how yeah. much I hate him. Because he, again, he you knows earned what it. he's doing. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Okay, haircut. <laughs> right? Where did you get this much Damn. value in steel? From someone who no longer had need of it. And well, now we have two. Two. The original weapon was absurdly large. Plenty of steel for two swords. Well, thank you. It's glorious. But he doesn't have his fucking... How many people in this city alone would love to see his head on a pike? Other knights protect the king. <laughs> right here, right here. To do so when you I volunteer as tribute. <laughs> My place is here. I don't expect to see the rock again before I die. Wow. There is a precedent to relieve a king's guard of his duties. The king will exercise that prerogative. And also that cuts oh. out Tyrion for being able to no. take over Castle Rock too. Mm. But my answer is still no. I don't want Castle Rock. I don't want a wife. I don't want children. What do you want? My sister. <laughs> <laughs> if serving as a glorified bodyguard is the sum of your ambition, go serve. So which one of his children does he like? Like, ostensibly <laughs> this he's, one. He's frustrated with all of them. Like, yeah. Damn. He was ingratiating him. He was being so cool. And here's this new thing. And as soon as you don't do what I want, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. But he's still walking away with a smirk on his face. He knows how to get his way with his yeah. dad. Yeah. Yeah. True. Oh, Bron. <laughs> <laughs> Can you read the sigils? <laughs> Yellow balls. Wild lemons in a fucking field. <laughs> A stolt of Lemonwood. A vulture grasping a baby. He's like, he's like one of those guys like, oh fuck, I need to get glasses. <laughs> <laughs> like, damn it, wait. The prince's health forces him to remain at Sunspear. He sends his brother, Prince Oberyn. My lords, these fine men from the city watch will escort you to your quarters in the Red Keep. So like, we don't give a shit about yeah. anything that you guys have to say. Or give to us or some accomplished diplomacy that was <laughs> now <gasps> Yes <laughs> I was like I've I... been clenching right? <laughs> like, like, Give me Pedro uh, And and also that's another reason why we decided to have Jenny Leon for this one. You're one of the biggest Pedro right, right. one of the biggest Pedro Pascal's uh like fans that I have ever met and probably will ever meet, and so we gotta have it on the first episode. You wouldn't have had to pay me a fucking dime to play one of these girls. <laughs> Timid. Timid bores me. Rob with two Bs who? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. 
<laughs> I'm like cheesy. Oh my god. And he's a he's a little sly. I love too. it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not timid. <laughs> Sorry, Kenny. Got to blur out a lot of stuff in this one. <laughs> Girls can leave. You stay. I'm afraid I'm not an offer, my lord. Everyone who works for Little Finger is an offer. Take off your clothes. <laughs> I'm a prince. <laughs> Have you ever been with a prince? Somebody take this mic off me and you go home. <laughs> <laughs> I think you are literally going to turn oh, into God. liquid and, and just fall into a puddle. <laughs> like oh, a cartoon oh, or something. Mm -hmm. Why do you like it? Pedro Pascal, like a bisexual legend, Pedro Why Pascal shows up. Not a dry seat in the house. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh, Bren. Oh, but he heard a Lannister, the Lannister not song. Weep o'er his hall, and not a soul. This is the weirdo who like brings the guitar to the party. Right? <laughs> Why? We're in a whorehouse. What are we doing? Singing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll never forget watching the bar so many Lannisters were react, like, like interact with this character. Yeah. Like, Do you know why all the world hates a Lannister? You think your gold and your lions and your gold lions make you better. <laughs> <laughs> Too slow. When I pull my blade, your friend starts bleeding quite a lot, I'm afraid. So many veins in the wrist. <laughs> You'll live if you get decisions. <laughs> that arch. <laughs> Apologies, my love. Oh, it turned around so hard. <laughs> well, what are you, his hired killer? Now I'm a knight. How did that come to pass? Killed the right people, I suppose. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I got you. All right, all right. Nice, game game okay. recognizes game. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll have him later. I don't know. My nephew and niece carved them up and wrapped them in Lannister cloaks. And my sister, you know what they did to her? I'm asking you a question. I've heard rumors. Hmm. That Gregor gained the mountain, raped Elia, and split her in half with his great sword. Is that a euphemism? If the mountain no, I think he literally. Uh, I think. No, I think he literally. Tell your father I'm here. Carved her in half with a sword. And tell him the Lannisters are the only ones who pay their debts. <laughs> Wild card, motherfuckers! <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're getting big. They're getting huge, dude. Oh, blue balls, daddy. There he is. Like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Oh no. It's kind of something they go into like House of the Dragon too, like where it's just like we these are animals like yeah. that have a will of their own, you know. Like a dog. Like it, it can love you, but it may bite you, you know. Where's Darren Harris? Where's Grey One? Gambling, your grace. <laughs> Gambling. Everybody's acting out. Yeah. Everybody's right. a wild card. Yeah, right. <laughs> Even the dragons. <laughs> These two much more manageable, I'm sure, as far as like cracking the whip and shit right. like that. You know? Damn, that's a lot of dudes. Mother. <laughs> so Worm is stronger than he looks. A little bit of recasting. Getting to shake. I was gonna say he looks a lot different. So different, <laughs> so fucking different. The last man holding his sword can find a new queen to fight for. Oh god. Unnecessary. Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys know why he was recasted? It was um he I think the guy he just had it was just one of those things where the guy was just like there's an opportunity and I'm willing to break the contract, and, and then they got this new guy who's who looks more like he should be a cast member of the bear. Oh, here we go. If I could have a moment alone with my wife. I meant you two, Shay. Yeah. I can't let you starve. 
I swore to protect you. Do you know what they did to my brother? How they sewed his dial's head onto his body. Yeah, that was and my mother. They say they cut her throat to the bone and threw her body in the river. I did Happened forget about that. Was a terrible crime. Yeah. I admired her. She wanted to have me executed, but I admired her. <laughs> Sansa. Your mother would want you to carry on. You know it's true. Damn, they're already kind of getting me over here, man. Like, that's fucking tough. You, Ooh. My lion. What are you doing? Wild cards. <laughs> Wild cards. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> no. My wife hates me because my father murdered her family. Oberyn Martell wants to murder everyone whose last name is Lannister. You. Me. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? Well, he had to go root <laughs> quickly. <laughs> <laughs> that was someplace. <laughs> I barely know her. She's a child. She despises me. So shit, That's come on. Not an yeah, I come on. Love her. Like, but at the same time, he can like kiss her. He's like pulling away. Yeah, yeah. If you want me to leave, just say it. Say it! I don't know what you're talking about. Shay, can you just go so I don't have to see you get murdered? <laughs> oh, oh no! Good lord. <laughs> Lit. All right. Work of art, really. Crossing the fucking guy who Rob and, and Talia fucking saved, and now he's just hanging with these dudes. Ugh. The hook would be more practical. Elegant, I think. Damn, he looks good this season. Oh yeah, like less covered in shit for sure. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like a little bit, just a little bit. <laughs> Not in the haircut too yeah. and everything, you know. My husband died in a tragic hunting accident. It must have been traumatic for you. My only daughter was shipped off, and now I'm marrying my eldest son to a wicked little bitch from Highgarden. Don't, don't you dare! I'm supposed to marry her brother, a renowned pillow biter. So. <laughs> 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 Pillow I have never, I forgot about that one. Yeah. I don't think I've ever heard it before. If anybody has anything mean to say to me, it better be Pillow <laughs> I swear. Not now. I want. Not now. When? I've been back for weeks. Does that mean Loris is a bottom? Something's changed. Yeah. It certainly implies it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You come back after all this time with no apologies in one hand and expect everything to be <laughs> <laughs> one hand. <Yeah. laughs> I murdered people so I could be here with you. It took too long. I <laughs> I hate her. Jesus. <laughs> Go <Come> in. <laughs> no. No. You told me to come at once if there was anything important. No. Bitch. God damn. I was having such a good time this episode. <laughs> like, she easily could have blackmailed. She didn't even, like, she could have blackmailed the fuck out of Tyrion. She didn't even use that information to her own advantage. Yeah, She just right. went straight to Cersei yeah. like a yeah, dumb yeah, yeah. bitch. You said you put three arrows in him. Yeah, I did. If that boy's still walking, it's because you let him go. Damn. Well, bet. Well, bet. One of my favorite things in the world is that they're married in real life. And they still are. They've been together. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, Rose and Jon Snow. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. Oh, these fucking guys. I fucking hate them. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe everything's just better fed down here. Fat and lazy. For us. Hey, take it easy on my, on my fucking squirrels. Yeah. Right now. Come on. That, that was cooking. Us coming. Yeah, they're still me. Lost your walk. And that baby crow you had with you. That guy's tall. Lost him too. Yeah, no kidding. Because that guy's that is, tall. Yeah. <laughs> she yours. I'm not anybody's. <laughs> Before you die, you really ought to try, crow. I knew it. Uh, oh, I knew it. Yeah, because they're 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 what? putting stuff on the yeah. fire where you can't really see, and it's just like he's just talking about how much food they don't typically have access to. Right, he was better than me at everything: fighting and hunting and girls. God, the girls loved him and the boys. <laughs> Never could. Better than me at everything. So reading. <laughs> <laughs> so you admit you murdered Corin Harvant. 
I didn't right. murder him. Because for all they know, he just fucking stabbed him outright. You know what I mean? Like he even talks like a wildling now. No, I talk like a wildling. I ate with the wildlings. I climbed the wall with the wildlings. <laughs> oh, he yeah. just he, he, to a fault. He's yeah. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The boy must die. If we beheaded every ranger. Like, but I, ass <laughs> I assure you, like crows before hoes for sure. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> crows before hoes. <laughs> the Hornfoots, the Ice River clans, the S giants fighting for it. Giants. Have you ever been beyond the wall, sir? I commanded the city watch of King's Landing, boy. And they got sent away by Tyrion. Yeah. The orders are to attack Castle Black from the south when Mance hits it from the north. Mance said it would be the greatest fire the north has ever seen. That's the truth. Fuck. But we won't be taking your head today, John Snow. Go on. I mean, like, they can't afford to lose it. They can't afford to lose a single person. Yeah. You know. You always know when a man is telling a lie. How did you acquire this magical power? I grew up in King's Landing. <laughs> <laughs> Your grandfather gave me a necklace, just like this one. <laughs> the wedding is in a fortnight. One who brings me the best necklace will get to keep the next best. Lit. Nice. <laughs> I love that. She's right? the baddest bitch alive. Also, she's like, like sending them out shopping. That's yeah. so fucking yeah. That's so killer. My word. My lady. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> like that line from Deuce Big, like, that's a huge bitch. It's like, oh, look, she's like, you're Absolutely marvelous. Right. Sing. Every old lady in her I life before her. has been yes. like, you big, ugly like bitch. This. One day, my lady, I will avenge our king. Joffrey is our king now. I meant no offense. And you've given none. I wish I could marry you instead of <laughs> No <laughs> shit. Oh my god. I can't stand him. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. He's so good though. As an actor. Like, yes. Yeah. Just the worst. And apparently like one of the sweetest people like, yeah. on the face of yeah. the planet. I broke Stannis on the Blackwater. Pity you weren't there to help, Uncle. Jeez. My apologies. So this is the famous Book of Brothers. Sir Duncan the Tor. Sir Duncan the Tall is now getting his own show. No. Yep. Wow. Mm -hmm. So Jamie Lannister. Hmm? Oh God. <laughs> Someone forgot to write down all your great deeds. There's still time. Is there? For a forty-year-old knight with one hand, how can you protect me with that? There's no way to speak to your father, it's young more man. Of and with also with the haircut, he really looks like his father now yeah. too. Yeah. Like it's so. Much more glaring and shit. And now it's like this whole thing. It's like, man, I'm going back to this place where nobody believes in me mm -hmm. at all. Brienne did, mm -hmm. you know. But I need to speak to you about something important. A matter of strategy. Oh, they got fuck. <laughs> Quick, there's a bush over there. <laughs> a dusk rose. Would you like to walk at the back of the train instead of riding? If you want them to follow you, you have to become a part of their world. Strategy. Slick. You are a gambler, aren't you? It's just that he looks so much, he's so different looking of a guy mm -hmm. than the previous Yeah. One. Like, like he literally looks like he could be like a Stark. One on every mile marker between here and Marine. 163, your grace. Jesus. I'll tell our men to write. Remove her collar before you bury her. Jesus Christ. And? You made a promise. To return the Star Girls to their mother, who is now dead. To keep them safe. Look me in the eye and tell me that you think she'll be safe in King's Landing. Are you sure we're not related? Ever since I've returned, every Lannister I've seen has been a miserable king. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, hold on, dude. That means that you want to have... You want to fuck right. her? Like, yeah. like, 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 like what? <laughs> Ew. Look at that. It, it, it's all right. It's, it's all right. You're drunk. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh shit. Remember the guy from season two? She saved his life. Right. They were going to drown him in wine. This is worth more than my life. Take it. Wear it. Let my name have one more moment in the sun before it disappears from the world. 
Oh, I just got a little bit the of chills. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's a good speak, you know. Well, it's just like one nice thing is happening for yeah, her. Like, exactly. somebody's appreciating right. her. Right. Yep. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Funny how it desensitized you get to like dead kids in this show. You're fine with murdering little boys, but thieving is beneath you. Man's got to have a code. The small one. His name is Pulliver. He captured us and took us to Harrenhal. He killed Lommy. What the fuck's a Lommy? Remember the kid who he like stabbed he like in, in the, and then he thought that was um Gendry? Yeah, Gendry, yeah. My sword. Needle. Needle. Of course you named your sword. <laughs> Lots of people name their swords. Lots of cunts. <laughs> <laughs> I love these two bickering like a oh, couple. Get back. My brother gave me that sword. Get back here. Oh, no, my friend. I know she's like I don't you're not going in there. Like, uh, okay, we're doing it now. Like, yeah, like, we're like, here. Uh, okay, I guess we're going. It's like, can we have Walton Goggins? We have Walton Goggins. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like, he looks like Wish.com Walton Goggins. Got your mouth and pour us more ale, and we may not take it with us when we're done with it. Yeah, we get the desensitized to that, too. Yeah. I know you. You're the hound. Or our new friends to mail. And where am I for all of it? Stuck with your brother. Meaning no offence. None taken. <laughs> Spend enough time putting the hammer to people. You start to feel like a carpenter making chairs. Drains the fun right out of it. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> These are the king's colours. No one's standing in his way now. Fuck the king. <laughs> <laughs> we'll trade you. One of our little chickens for one of yours. You're a talker. Listening to talkers makes me thirsty. <laughs> Given like the Pulp Fiction, I'm just gonna finish this fucking yeah. Sprite, you know? I understand that if any more words come pouring out your cunt mouth, I'm gonna have to eat every fucking chicken in this room. <laughs> <laughs> you lived your life. You're gonna die for some chickens. Someone is. I would have been back down. Yeah. <laughs> he's so huge and he has such a reputation. Yeah. Like, I don't think he stands a goddamn chance. This man is eight feet tall. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh! 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 Speaking of Pulp Fiction. Yeah. Oh. Jinkies. Come on, Arya. Do something, baby. Oh. Yeah, why are you just standing there? No, she's. <laughs> oh! 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 Jeepers! Mm. Reapers. There she goes. There she goes. Get in it. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, just slow push. Needle. Got it back. Fine little blade. Maybe I'll pick my teeth with it. <laughs> You better work. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Waiting for him to realize it and then yes, just going yeah. and for he, it. He, 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 just, just like, just like, <gasps> a split the second. in his eyes. <laughs> Even and he him. gave her a fucking yeah, horse. She got a horse. She gets a pony. <laughs> god, every single person that they've put her with has just made a very interesting dynamic. Like when she was Oh with, yeah, when she was with, yeah, when she was with Tywin, it was fucking great. You know, like, yeah, absolutely. When she's hanging with the Brotherhood and everybody was awesome. There we go. My dog. 
Pedro. Pedro Pascal. <laughs> you know, oh, and with an oh, and with an oh. accent too, and, and like the funniest little accent. Yeah, yeah no, no, I mean, it's, it's, it's very, like, um, it's very much like my name is in the Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I am here to, you kill that. my father, yeah. prepare to prepare die. die. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. yeah, there's definitely a lot of that going on. Um, <laughs> all right, kiddo, which he's such a himbo. I love him. <laughs> I'm so excited when Sean was like, we're gonna be watching the episode where Pedro shows up. I was like, yes! yeah, I know. It's like, it like, this is like, I was like, I knew that, like, yeah, and that was, it was very, it, yeah, it was very pointed. It was just like, <gasps> gotta get Jenny. Yeah, for sure. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Our, uh, so, what'd you think? Is this my favorite episode? I think so. Ooh, I mean, I mean, I, sh I mean, I think, I think, of, well, it, it certainly it has the most because the thing is, we took some mad L's. Yeah. For like yeah. like like the biggest L that you could possibly imagine. Yeah. So we got to They had to remind you why you like watching this show. Yeah, or it, <laughs> it's just like it can't it can't be like, you know, yeah, it's just like it's like we need to we need to give you some W's. We need to give mm -hmm. you a little bit of like kind of like meat on the end of the stick. Otherwise, it's like that it can be possible for things to go your way like in this world and shit like that. And mm -hmm. so, yeah, and so I think that that was that's like a big part of of what of of this of this episode for sure, and that's why it feels so good. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like we get our we, we get our we get a piece of comeuppance. Like I'm so a Stark happy. gets some comeuppance <laughs> and and is into it and craves it and gets it and like feels good about it. You know, and that hasn't really happened. No, it's great. It's just like so you're gonna die for some chickens. Somebody is. It's like yeah. it's like that whole like, that whole <laughs> is, uh, that whole scene is just feels like such like a western. Yeah, like guys yeah, like waiting totally. to draw their fucking yeah. waiting, like you know like just this whole like I'm, we're just waiting to see who pulls who There's pulls a their reference gun. Reference to that like western sort of moment um, with Pedro earlier as well. Absolutely, he's like mm -hmm. you're too slow on the draw. Yeah, so. no, no, <laughs> like, no, a hundred percent. Yeah, and like and just just hearing that somebody is a part of somebody that you don't like. You know that's caused to possibly in, you know embroil yourself in a situation where you're gonna fucking kill these people and mm -hmm. shit like that. A great, uh, like one of the best opening scenes of any character mm. in the show, yeah. Yeah, without absolutely. a doubt. He's fucking rolling his hand through the fire. Oh, well, rubbing his hand crazy. over the lady's butts, then yeah. coming around the front, touching the boobies, mm -hmm. then going over to the flame, touching the flame. Like, <laughs> oh, don't forget, the, don't things. forget the peen. Yeah, yeah, grab yeah, a yeah, peen. yeah, 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 yeah. He's got just touching like, things. Everything. Yeah, I mean, in the like scene it was, that was just, worth it, touching it, got touched by Pedro. <laughs> <laughs> but it was just like it was just one of those things where, I mean, I feel like that it was like the the show gods could literally have not written. A like a character in a moment in the scene more for you. Yeah. <laughs> they knew what they took God from me and they're like, I need to give you more. Yeah. <laughs> totally, yeah. 100%. It's been personalized a little bit more. Like we've heard that stuff that happened to, um, to his sister. Like the whole thing, like with the you know with Rhaegar Targaryen, who was I think Daenerys's oldest brother, and like was very well beloved by people, a far a far stone's throw from the Mad King, and shit. You know, like a lot of people were just like, oh goddamn, like we, what a fucking king he would have he would have actually been able to be or whatever and stuff. And so and yeah, like when Tywin sacked the city, he just decided to be like, okay, cool, we're just gonna send in. You know, we're gonna send in uh, send in Sandor's brother, Sir Gregor, and he's just and we're just gonna fucking end that whole thing. Yeah. Know, sack the city and shit. And so it's a personal vendetta that he's here for. You know what I mean? Which I love. I love that for him. Yeah. He absolutely. can do no wrong in my opinion. He like, no, he shows up being sexy as fuck, being a bisexual legend, being Pedro Pascal, and being against the Lannisters with every fiber of yeah. his being. Like check, it, check, it, and check. <laughs> yeah, right, 100%. <laughs> How about you? Like, what, 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 what stood out to you, like, in this, oh, in this one? Boy. I Other just, than the obvious things. Well, yeah. yeah, I mean, like, every, you know, we got to check in with everybody. Um, pretty much we didn't get to see Bran and Rick on yeah. um, where they're at in this sure. one, but we checked in with most everybody that's standing. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's it feels like everybody's kind of coming on a little bit of an upswing, just to, even if it's just a tiny upswing. Mm -hmm. Like, um, you know, Arya's not in like the best place, but she got Nicole back, and you know, she and and the dogger, you know, they're like buddy in, and uh, and Sansa's, you know, got a little necklace from the guy, and everything's incredibly shit for her, but yeah. 
something's happening. It was a little. It was. It was like. It was a. It was almost like a. It kind of almost reminded her of what it was like to be a Stark. Right. In a certain sense, like every single. She's probably thinking about like every single vestige of like. Of I don't know. I guess like. Uh, of pomp and circumstance and mm-hmm. of like this world and of how they were raised to actually behave and right. treat people has come back to bite them in the ass. And it's like, it was just like a little glimmer of hope, yeah. I think. Or right. Something. And, and, you know, especially like when you're like, when you're dealing with grief in, in probably such an extreme way that she is right now, it's like, it's, it's the same thing. It's like the stuff that makes you sad can kind of come out of nowhere. The things that can kind of like, brighten up your day and can kind of like give you a little bit of relief and stuff like that can also kind of come from from odd places and shit well also like nothing nothing good has happened to her since she nothing. watched her dad get nothing. his head cut off literally and like, nothing if it was except for kind of marrying Tyrion but, that, but it was that always doesn't... backhanded yeah, like there course. is a catch to it and this yeah. was just like one gesture where there was no catch it was just like hey I appreciate what you did this is me doing something nice for you and yeah it was so nice to see that for her. John did okay. He didn't get, he's like, you know, for breaking the vows and stuff like yeah. that. It is incredibly such. It's like, so you killed the guy because he told you to. Right. Mm. <laughs> sure. <laughs> like, yeah. No, for I mean, it is, it's a weird way to do it. And you absolutely, you know, like you fucked and sucked your way, like all the way through this fucking wildland camp and shit like that. And were like, they were, he was with it. He was with the party when people were getting killed and shit you know yeah. what i mean so it's like it, it looks bad but i think it's also i think uh, that blatant honesty helped him because yes. it was just like well if i'm telling you all these bad things i did i could have lied about that but i'm just giving you the entire truth well, like, take his greatest it what it strength is. and his greatest weakness yeah. Yeah. But, like yeah. he will tell you the truth that's He's, the stark yeah, yeah but especially john like yeah you know, the rest of them are like, I mean, I try to tell the truth when I, you know, can. You know, like, I'll yeah, yeah, do my yeah. best. Rob but was even Rob like, was yeah, like, yeah, I got yeah, 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 this other you know. chick. I promised myself to this other guy. Yeah, like, I mean, I'm not, I'm, he's like, he's a very, like, uh, like white lies never killed anybody kind of thing. Mm. But John's like, no, white lies killed people. He, like, <laughs> will tell the fucking truth. Yeah. And that's yeah, kind yeah. of also why Maester, what's his name, was like, no, nah, he's telling the truth. Like, this kid yeah. doesn't lie. I'm from it's King's like Landing. I know what the fuck this shit is, by the way. And yeah, that was exactly. a great, yeah, that was a great, it was like, I grew up in King's Landing. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was all good. Do we have any kind of a favorite moment of the episode? Pedro. <laughs> <laughs> Before, I, was, I was like, which moment of Pedro? <laughs> yeah, yeah, wait, no, wait, okay, which Pedro moment then? Mm-hmm. Which Pedro moment? What, what, what do we have? Um, it goes, bisexual, learning he's bisexual. Sure. And the, the hand over the flame did it. Yeah. Oh. No, I really, I, I think you literally, I, I can't wait to go back and see the tape where you just literally go, Ugh. <laughs> Both of us at the same time. Yeah, right, right. I'm pretty sure I was like right there. I did my version of it. Where I was like, <laughs> like, yeah, like, <laughs> it's like, no, it is, it is absolutely, it's a version of I, just like. Well, like, if I ever am like at a con panel or something, and for whatever reason Pedro is there, my number one question is going to be like, was that improvised or was that scripted? Like, oh, the passing Because I, yeah, that's a great, like, no, that's that just a great feels touch. like such a little, like, he's like, I'm just going to do this little thing. Bet nobody knows I can hold my hand over a handle like this. <laughs> and everybody on set was like, do that again. Yeah. Well, that was perfect. It's so, well, and, it, and it's so perfect for him that. It's one of those things where it's like, oh, I could absolutely see George writing that. I yeah, could absolutely exactly. see mm-hmm. the, like a showrunner writing that. Or he's also so he has such a great intuition for like right. what people want to see on screen. Mm-hmm. Like he just, I mean, he's. I mean, we know him as like a big kind of a TV star now and shit, now, and shit like that. But at this time. Nobody like I never I had never seen him before. I never I had yeah. never seen her. This is the yeah. first thing I've ever He'd been saw. in things, but yeah. you had to have been paying attention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ari Ari and the Hound's probably a close second. Yeah. Probably, you know, mm-hmm. just as far as like a complete scene and kind of setting the stage for like their dynamic. I mean really so. that little bit, just that last you know, eighth of the episode or whatever, mm, just mm, them. Mm. That's a complete short story in itself. Yeah. You know, like those, mm-hmm. that's, you know, like, you can, like yeah, that, well, it, and, and it's if like, you've never met these characters before in their brief little interaction, you kind of get the gist of what's going on. And then they like, that's a complete little, yeah. It's a, it's story. a complete, and, and it almost has like a little bit of an arc. Like you can yeah. infer like who she is, why she wants to do what she wants mm-hmm. to do. So they, they all sort of said it. And also it's a sly way of just like, of, uh, of kind of seeing that with the audience too, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? It's like, oh, it's like, yeah, it's like, oh yeah, that that was that guy. Like, you know what I mean? Like, even though most people had 
watched it, rewatched like the seasons, you know, multiple times by the time we were kind of getting up <laughs> to episode four. This is like when the the theorizing and the memeing and everything was like was starting to kind of really hit. It was was starting to really ramp the fuck up, and it and it, you know, um, mm. I mean, like I don't know, the Daenerys stuff was fucking cool. Again, like the whole idea that like, oh, these dragons. I got, I got to be a little bit afraid of that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They like, they're that like hinting at it. They're giving a little sprinkle of like, hey. Right. And I feel like it's that one specifically yeah. that like, you're like, Drug gotta on. keep my eyes yeah. out yeah. on them. Yeah. I feel, so Sean, you mentioned like, it's like a dog. They, I feel like it's not like a dog. Like she was mm. thinking they were like a dog. Dogs, you can like, they're domesticated, right? Dogs yeah. and cats, like yeah. once you've got them to a point, like if you're an actual good dog owner, which no, I'm not going to get into all <laughs> right, that. Right, but right, like, right. It, like, I have my dog and my dog like literally would not bite me right. outside of its circumstances. My point is, right. she was like, yeah, they're like my dog. They're my pet. You know, like we love each other and we get each other. Mm-hmm. No, this is like you have a tiger. Tigers are not yeah. domesticated. You know, right, like, right, right. Yeah. they can okay, form that's a, fit, that's a sort fair, of a fair. bond with a human. They can yeah. be like, I know that guy. He's cool. But I'll give like, them a big kind of cute hug or whatever. Yeah, but, exactly. But they will, they but, will Sigmund Freud your ass. They will, ex- they will go tiger. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> wait, was that not Sigmund? No, Freud? Siegfried no, wait. and Roy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh damn! Oh, that's so funny. Yeah, I was like, God bless you for just like, just like, no, I'm just gonna so close. No, no, no. You were just like, you were just like, it's like, wow, that was stupid. I'm just gonna let him have that one over there as as she should. That, I mean, and that's like a nice little piece of of through line from this to Hot D mm-hmm. that they explore a lot more in Hot D. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, or or they just they make it much more, and that's kind of like what seeds the whole thing that happens with um, with uh, Amond. And what happens with like when the, when the, all of a sudden like the dragons are fighting and they're not in control? Yeah, you know what exactly. I mean, like yeah. and, and shit. And so like that was kind of it was I mean, it, that kind of connective tissue is kind of like is is very interesting, especially at this point. And so we're gonna be seeing those motherfuckers before you know it too. I know. We're gonna be back for season two. I'm very excited about that shit. Love seeing Oletta kind of yeah. figure, figure stuff out, getting ready for this wedding and shit. A like little that. wedding planning. Her love, her love. That was so cool that you put like her loving. Fucking Brienne. Uh, Bri- Brienne's face is just like she's never been spoken to like that, probably by anyone, but certainly not by an older woman. And, and, and certainly not by from like a like like a beacon of of royalty. I mean, like that is exactly. that is the highest no. that is the highest yeah. of the high that anybody. Maybe not, or maybe not since like I don't know. Maybe maybe um, Renly. Renly, Renly respected the fuck out of her. Yeah, for sure, obviously. Uh, yeah, exactly. You know I mean? like, but yeah, but, but most that's people are just like, oh, like oh sure, I respect you. Oh, you're one of the boys. No, no, but she was sure, like, cool. my god, yeah, like, you know, she, she was, was so like, in... look at you. Yeah, like <laughs> totally boots the house down, girly yeah. pop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like who me? Like <laughs> or it was like it, you know, it's, it's like those cool like kind of like those old like uh, like those like Central Park ladies that are just you know they're ex- cool yeah, and exactly. in the right way and like and like you know people kind of get they try to bait them into like that whole older generation versus younger generation mm-hmm. like what do you think about these kids over it's like i love them they're yeah, great exactly. you know like it's so good mm-hmm. they're, they're they're doing this whole thing so that yeah that was very heartwarming also dude cersei just throwing cr- you came back without a, what without an excuse well, that's, that, and a hand but that's tywin and her being the Absolutely. exact same person Absolutely. yeah to, to jamie right yep. like just the exact she is her like I, I asked earlier, like, which one of his children does he like? She's obviously the only one oh. who has ever been satisfying to him Right, right, at right. All. It, it's, but Even it's, though, but she's the girl. But she's a girl, and he's like, ah. She's the only one that got, like, really got his energy. Yeah. Jamie's way too nice. Tyrion's too everything he is. Right. And, mm. and, uh, and Cersei's the only one that is, like, she's, like, she is so like, oh, we manipulate people to get them to do what we want? Great, I can do that. Right, like, right, right, right. <laughs> No problem. And, no, we'll and, and, and she even said that, I think, at one point. She was like, she was like, Jamie's never given a fuck about what the fuck you've had to say. I'm the only yeah. one that's ever listened to mm-hmm. you. I'm the only one that's ever, like, given a shit about the things that you, when you were just telling us about the importance of family and blah, 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 mm-hmm. and all this other stuff and tactics and everything. Like, I'm the only one that listened, but I don't get to do anything mm-hmm. because of, you know, because of who I am, you know? And so... Yeah, yeah. As far as like, as far as it's like, who he respects me, it's like, yeah, darn it. Yeah, you know what exactly. I mean? like, like, <laughs> yeah. Only you woman. were a woman. Seriously, <laughs> yeah. Um, melting down of ice is, is is fucking tough. Like that 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 Stark blade is gone forever. Oof, yeah, you know what I mean. Like it was just unreasonably big, though. 
Yeah. No, like, absolutely. No, no, no. You can make two swords. Yeah, two full swords. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, no, no, no. I mean, like, and you can you can even see it in like the first thing. Like when he's holding the shit, and he's like, "I Ned Stark, <laughs> yeah. kill you with a bat." It looks like he's hold. It looks like he's holding like a like a, a flagpole. Literally, <laughs> yeah, it's literally. Like, huge. yeah, it's it's like a, no, he no, it's it's like oh no, don't mind me. I just have this um. I just have this diving board that's like sitting right in <laughs> yeah. front of me. It's fucking ridiculous. Yeah. No, it, no, he's absolutely right. Remember when you thought Ned was going to be like the main character of the show? <laughs> they Remember fucking that? killed. They killed Tony Soprano in the fucking first season. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's like, yeah, it's like, exactly. Yeah, I'm really upset about the ducks. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? He's well, done, and then you got to follow fucking Christopher and everybody else yeah. and shit like that. Yeah. I mean, um, for the whole second season, I was like, they're gonna. Like, it's going to be one of those magic things, right? They bring him back There's somehow. magic in the like, show, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, oh, not, not as much magic in this episode, and that's something that you keep kind of talking yeah, about. I do right? love the magic. Well, that you keep... They refer to it. They talk about yes, Stannis' whole, like, yeah. shadow Yeah, creature. and Marjorie finally knows what actually happened. That's right. Yeah, absolutely. Mm, yeah, and, that, no, no, and, yeah. and, and that's, you know... No, I don't no, know no. how useful it is to her, but at least she knows. Well, I think it's one of those things where she's like wants to know. Like, I'm sure everybody's been saying, talking a lot of shit, being saying, speaking, speaking ill of my name. Like, I was the mm -hmm. only motherfucker in there. Like, it was literally like either me or Catelyn Stark. Yeah, yeah. you know what yeah. I mean. And so, like, just so you know, it was a ghost baby with his, <laughs> with his brother's face. <laughs> right. You know, again, yeah. kind of the same. I love with the John. I love the mirroring. Yeah, there's some mirroring of scenes where like people are like, kind of pleading their cases and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. Very and both very like very noble. Very like oh, you know almost to a fault you know mm -hmm. type characters yep. and stuff. Yep. Um, the kind of the same way that like they were mirroring like Cersei, like you know and uh, and um and what was it? And, and, yeah. you know what and Tyrion. Oh, and Tyrion. Like well no where where, where he's like. Where he's like, because you know, Jamie's like, oh, like, don't you want to fucking get down? Like, I'm, I've been looking to bone down for a minute oh, or whatever. Right, right. With, and the same thing with Shay's with Shay. like, don't yeah, you yeah, want to yeah, fucking bone you. down mm -hmm. and stuff? And gosh, the, yeah, you're right. There's a lot of mirrors. Yeah, yeah, like I, I always love that. I always love that when mm -hmm. there's and and that's how you that's how you interweave theme. That's how you write a good story. Write a good story, you know. Like turns out, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but the right. theme of this one was wild cards. Wild cards. It's wild cards for sure, dude. Shit it up. is. Yeah, yeah. It's it's kind of like and that's kind of what happens again, it's what's so dope about like if it's a funeral or a wedding or something where a bunch of people have to congregate, that's what's gonna happen. Mm. Yeah. It's a bunch of I mean, and that's kind of what is bringing all of these things together and shit. And that's why it's cool. Or it's just it's, just, it's it's how it happens in real life, but especially in a show like this, it's kind of like how it expresses itself mm -hmm. and shit. So yeah, I don't know. Good fucking episode. Great fucking, Great episode. fucking episode. Really good episode. Again, like the show is in its bag, like around this truly, part of this, truly. like part of the, like this part of the story and stuff. So, um, we just rocked episode one. If you guys are enjoying it, you guys want to get next like, early and uncut episode. And you guys want to get early and uncut uh, access to the next episode. You guys can do that right this very minute. You don't have to wait. You can watch episode two right now by becoming a part of the Patreon. The link is in the top end comment or the description below. Click that head on over pony of eight bucks at the premium streaming tier and that gets you full and uncut access to all of our our hot d fan watches game of thrones for the very first time um talk uh, about hot d pedro right? <laughs> yeah, right. oh my god absolutely <laughs> yeah absolutely talk about it like, talk, <laughs> <laughs> absolutely so yeah or no, this was the first hot d that we saw but it was but mm -hmm. like but it had nothing to do with house of the dragon at least right. at that point um so we hope you guys consider doing that but if you can't do that and still want to help us out hit us with a like and subscribe ring the bell thingy because that shit always helps it, it never, never fucking, fucking hurts. hurts we appreciate you guys for hanging out with us we'll check y'all later